Okay, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about glycosaminoglycans specifically and uh, kind of their structure and function, at least to introduce them. So glycosaminoglycans, or GAGs, um, also known as mucopolysaccharides, are heteropolysaccharides that are long, hence the poly, uh, unbranched uh, and linear. And they're really negatively charged and they contain a repeating disaccharide unit. So I wanna talk a little bit more about what this repeating disaccharide unit is and, um, and what it kind of looks like. So the repeating disaccharide unit, of course, disaccharides refers to two sugars that are linked together. And this unit repeats, and specifically we have um, an acidic sugar here linked to an amino sugar, and that is going to be the, um, the disaccharide unit. And that unit will repeat, so you'll have an N, N uh, disaccharide units. Um, so there are two possibilities for the um, acidic sugar, and they are shown here. Uh, the first one is D-glucuronic acid, uh, which basically looks like glucose. It's got, um, you know, down, up, down here as far as those OHs go. And um, it's a D-sugar, or a D-sugar acid, I should say, because um, carbon number six here is up. But it's not a CH2OH. It's not just a sugar. It's uh, it's shown there as a carboxylic acid. Now, of course, that can be deprotonated and be COO minus, and you'd have D-glucuronate. Uh, in either way, that's represented as GLC coming from the, the glucose and the UA, meaning coming from uronic acid. Okay, so um, so as far as the negative charge, part of the reason that um, glycosaminoglycans, you know, being made up of these disaccharide units, part of the reason they're so negatively charged is because you have a bunch of these um, acids deprotonated. And so that's part of the reason, let's actually circle that in a different color. Let's just circle it in this color. And um, that's part of the reason these guys are so negatively charged. So that's one of the possible acidic sugars. The other one is l iduronic acid or l iduronic That should not say l iduronic acid. <laughs> it's weird. The H refers, of course, to the fact that this would be um, deprotonated. Um, but the difference here is that it looks identical to D-glucuronic acid, except that the carbon number six is down instead of being up. And so um, that is what makes it L. And uh, but but I think that the structure is really easy to remember because um, it looks exactly like glucose except that this is down instead of up, making it L. And so again, that can be deprotonated, and that uh, very very much like this guy is contributes to that negative charge. Um, and as far as the little acronym here, um, ID ID uronate and then uh, uronic acid, okay UA. Now that's for the acidic sugar. Now I do want to mention here that this is a little, there's this little star right here. Um, there is an exception to to this little repeating disaccharide unit, and that's something that we'll show later when we actually show the uh, um, the actual disaccharide units of the different classes of glycosaminoglycans, which we'll get to later. Um, but yeah, those are the two possible acidic sugars. Now there are two possible amino sugars, and usually they are acetylated. They're not always acetylated, but um, they they often are. Uh, and I've drawn them both here, acetylated. So the first one is N-acetylglucosamine. So it looks like glucose, down, up, down at these carbons. And it's a, a D-sugar, because that CH2OH is going up. Um, but it's a glucosamine, because this would normally be an NH2 here at carbon number two. Um, but that is acetylated. So we can see that little acetyl group shown there in brown. So the acetyl group is specifically attached to the N. So it's an N-acetyl group and it's coming from glucose and specifically glucosamine. Uh, so that the, the shortened way to represent that is GLC for glucose and then N-acetyl referring to um, that N group being acetylated. If there's no acetyl group, then it would just be without that AC, It'd just be glucosamine like that, okay? Um, and then we also have, we also have a N-acetyl uh, galactosamine. And so that is different only in that instead of being down, up, down, it's down, up, up here, so they're C4 epimers essentially, um, and uh, instead of being represented as GLC NAC, it's GAL referring to galactose and then NAC. Um, also, I showed the acetyl group here a little bit differently, just a different way to represent it, just in case I, I show you one way or the other. They both mean the same thing. Um, but yeah, also that doesn't have to be acetylated; it can just be galactosamine like that. Okay. Um, cool. All right, now. There are six classes 
of glycosaminoglycans. And they're classified based on a few different things. They're based off of 